Hey, this is Alex Rome, and today we're gonna remake All Time Low by John Bellion. And so, what I did is I already went ahead and made it, but I'm gonna basically show you it and scrap it, and then remake it, um, with the exception to the drums, because they're pretty tough to get right. So I'm gonna walk through the drums as they are already made, but the chords and the presets that I used I will remake all those. So it sounds like this. So basically, uh, I think it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty spot on. Um, with the exception to obviously the the drum presets, the percussion presets aren't going to be the same uh, as they probably never would if you're trying to remake something because you don't know the presets that these guys use but i think i'm um i think i'm pretty much there uh so i'll play it one more time and then we'll get through and i'll show you how i made it I love this track like I, I never even thought anything of it until I wanted to make a tutorial on it because it was recommended to me in one of the comments and I actually really like this track now um, so let's scrap these put them over here so just in case I forget I could reference it but what I'm gonna use the preset I'm gonna use uh, or I use is the vintage, I go down to, in your library of sounds here, preset sounds and logic, go down to your vintage organs, and then I use the hard rock organ. And I think that's what they may have used in the original. Not 100% sure, but it sounds similar. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and write out this progression, this chord progression that is, and I'm gonna start by writing the bass notes first. And this would basically loop, so it does that twice. However, what it does on top, like the next part of the melody, is a little bit different for the second half. And I'll show you what that means. So I'm going to go ahead and bring these an octave up so we can hear them better. Now the next notes I'm putting are only seven or seven semitones above each bass note. It's like the easiest chord you can make. So you lay down a bass line and then the next notes on top of those bass notes should be seven semitones up from it. So we would count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then repeat that for every note. And then we would basically loop it, and for the second half, he goes down like that. That would be that note. Now, there's like a little hidden, hidden little secret in this melody that is so quiet, like you could barely hear it, but it just, it makes the melody so much nicer. Basically, he brings in an, a nice synth that does these notes. And basically circles them around like that. And then they're not actually played with the organ, they're played with a little synth. Like a really simple synth too. Sounds like that. So basically I went into Alchemy and hit the file clear button and then basically just turned down the volume to oscillator one and just kept everything like it was. And then of course I EQ'd it, took some highs out of the high frequency spectrum of the EQ and brought it down an octave to sound like this and layered on top of this organ. 
there's a little bit of a This is actually the note that I can't hear. I, I tried so hard to hear it. Uh, I can't like hear where this final note goes. So I guess I'll just keep it to the same note as the note before. Cause I think, it, I think it might be something like that because it does something weird and you can't really hear what it does. Now those are the chords. So then there's that crazy percussion on top of the chords. And the percussion, it might not be perfect because it's like really, it's tough to get like exactly a percussion like that would be really hard to get. Um, but I could tell you what I did to get this. I started off with a kick, basically does this kick line. All right, let's uh That's what I came up with for a kick line. And then I threw in a snare that sounds like this. Like that. So let's turn off that metro cuz we don't need it anymore. Now, notice I'm missing a snare hit. There should be a snare hit right here, but instead I have that kick. And now, in the drop, there's a snare and a snare clap layer on every beat where there's supposed to be a snare. So there would be one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and so on. However, before that, he doesn't have a snare clap on every beat where there's supposed to be a snare. Um, but there is a layer on the second loop. <laughs> on the second loop, I think it's the second loop with uh, where he throws this big clap on top of the fourth snare beat. So like that. Now, the next part of this beat, I threw in those little things kind of in between the kick and the snare. Basically, this is a uh, snare that I loaded into the EXS24 and just wrote the MIDI where I think it was supposed to go. And then this is just a dub snare. Oh wait, yeah, this is just a dubstep snare that I threw in there and I made it real small because it sounds like the notes were cut off in the original version. So I made it real small so you could kind of barely make out make it out to be a snare. And then this just let this is just an 808 snare layering this snare. And so with everything Cool. It's like a rock and rolly little uh, drum pattern. And then I just threw some uh, little textures in there as well. And so with everything sounds like this. Such a sick melody, I love it. So uh, there you go guys, my name is Alex Rome and stay tuned for more awesome stuff.